Well, I'm here today on the show floor at uh, NRF 2017, and I'm here with Kevin Stadler, who's the CEO of 4R Systems. And, um, you know, Kevin, uh, I've heard a great quote recently that uh, retail in five years is going to look very different than what it looks like today. What changes do you think that means to retail from your perspective? You know, it's interesting with that question because what we've seen is it depends on the type of merchandise and the type of retail. We see it, in essence, triaging. In other words, really three distinct categories. First one we're going to see is immediate availability. These are things like grocery, uh, fashion basics, uh, home hardware. You're going to have to have it, have to have it available, immediate. Maybe not the greatest margins, but that's going to be a business. Second one we see is limited availability. You're going to have more a quasi-showrooming type of uh, a situation, limited, but it's going to be higher price at the store. You want it tomorrow or the next day, pay a little bit less. And the last one is a very custom type of an offering, uh, fashion to where if I say I want a 16 and a half neck and a 35.5 inch exactly uh, sleeve length, I can get it. I, and I think because of that, it's going to cause retail to have to think very carefully about how they're going to deliver those three because the profitability is very different in all different uh, sorts of supply chains and how you deliver that. So those are big changes and uh, very interesting developments. Now, to get there, retailers are going to want to think about the solutions and the technologies that will help them make that happen. What are those from your perspective? So I think retail is going to have to get very innovative. We're going to have to look at best practices outside of the industry and how other people have dealt with these types of, of problems. I, an example would be if you look at the financial technology market, uh, you know, Wall Street, stocks, real-time trading, it's machine learning, it's predictive analytics, it's finding out things at the micro level and assessing profit and risk. And those are the types of things we're going to have to look at. You know, NRF is a traditional kickoff, uh, like it or not, for the, the year ahead in retail. Um, you know, any trends, anything that 2017 is going to bring that, uh, that you can talk about for retailers today? I think, you know, we, we start off the year with a bank, which uh, unfortunately was a lot of retailers saying, I'm closing stores, my profitability is not there, and, and quite frankly, we're in the age of Amazon, whether we like it or not. What I think is going to happen is people are going to have to start saying, Profitability is key, and I'm dealing with a competitor that may or may not have to make profit, so therefore I've got to get very focused and be very fast in order to address this. So I think it's going to be a very interesting year, and a lot of retailers are going to have to change very quickly. It's going to require innovation. Interesting and uh, fast-moving and disruptive, so that's uh, possibly the year ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and just as, as an aside, which obviously is uh, where we're focused, is to make that happen. Uh, very fast change, we can do that. We do machine learning, we do predictive analytics, uh, we're profit optimized. So it, we feel that this year is going to be the type of year that's going to work out well for us as an organization also. Very interesting perspective. Thanks a lot, Kevin, for your time, and have a great NRF. All right, thanks, Kevin.